Hi everyone, I'm Roger Wendover and this is uh, the banjo bass I just completed. The last step was the bridge, so you probably seen, you might have seen pictures of it before, but now it is actually done. Uh, first of all, I just want you to hear how it sounds. idea um, it is a big it is a big instrument so a lot of thought went into trying to create an instrument that I could disassemble and put back together fairly quickly after being transported um, and I'll talk a little bit about the design features of that but first I just wanted to point out a few of the, the details uh, as you can see it's got the fret markers on the side that make it easier for us novice players who uh, need to know where we're at on the on the fingerboard I have them at the one, three, five, seven, nine octave. There you can see the octave markers. Uh, if you look back here, actually, we should look at some of these aesthetic details. This is a camphor wood wood veneer that went on this bass kick drum. Thanks to Mark Riggenbach for selling me this drum at a good price. I wrapped it in this nice veneer. Uh, the neck is made from. Um, red oak, white oak, and walnut. The oak was from the property of the client, so I guess it's 50 years of, uh, I don't know how old this is, but he said it's been farmed from the, the <laughs> what, am I, what am I trying to say? This came from the property and it had been on the property like 50 years or something like that, so anyway. Um, lattice bracing that you see on the front is actually an idea that was pioneered by another person in Australia who builds these and uh, he was kind of my mentor I'd say I asked him a lot of questions in email about he, he explored various designs and this as you can tell it seems to be a pretty good design in terms of uh, transferring the sound from the bridge to the, the drum skin uh, I've got sort of a traditional style bridge find those on double bass. It's sort of my own version of that. Um, you've got a pimento burl veneer on the headstock. And so in the back, you'll notice this mechanism right here. This is a quick release, which releases the tension off of the neck. So, Beck, you want to hold this for me? So I'll show you how this comes apart. So right now we have it strung up to full tension. Um, I'm gonna push pressure on the heel and I'm just gonna release this guy. Like so. And we'll come around here and then we'll remove the bridge. You can see the notches in the bracing there so that when we reattach it, in fact, I'll show you how we just put that back on there. Line the strings up. Put it back in the notches and just slide it up like that. Anyway, so that guy comes off. Tailpiece on the hooks. Then we take, take this part of the mechanism off. And voila, the neck comes off. You can see it's got this kind of a keyed um, joint here. Rock back and forth for adjustment and for a quick release. So yeah, so these things can be uh, transported separately, and then on the bottom is a base that's actually detachable as well. A couple of knobs inside here. So the base comes off too. Yeah, this for you at high speed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Base back on. 
does say front on there, so we want to make sure we do that right. This guy in the back. Oh, wow, that eye bolt is bending. And you'll notice that. Put back together. Yes. 